it really feels like a millennia since we had some good news and ladies and gentlemen that does change today yay apparently we got some good news after all the woke nonsense that we have been hearing after all the dei stuff right price hikes uh microtransactions glories suckers beefing with each other right today we got some good news like the video if you love love hearing that because apparently we're hearing that we're gonna be getting la noir 2. <laughs> I'm actually happy to hear that. I want to know where you guys at with it. Shout out to the homie Blackwoods. Roll Rockstar Games is developing a new LA Noir game and apparently this is the next big project after Grand Theft Auto 6. Now this whole information was leaked by a musician named Freya Garbett, who I'm not okay. sure if she's worked with Rockstar Games, but apparently she's got the information. But I'm just all in because it's good news and we're finally getting a new LA Noir game. And this game is set- LA Noir 1. How many of you guys played it? One in the comments if you played it, two if you, if you haven't to be a psychological thriller which is going to be set in 1940s of los angeles now it seems like we're once again going back to los angeles because this time i actually thought that maybe la nor is not going to take place in la maybe it's a different city or completely different country it my guy, like, then it wouldn't be called L.A. Noir too, you know, L.A. Noir because it's in L.A., you know what I'm saying? Bruh. But I hear him, though. I feel him, though. I get it what he's saying, though. Yeah, because, like, yeah, I want to, whatever, I want to see a Chicago Noir. Uh, <laughs> I want to see maybe Miami Noir or perhaps, like, somewhere else, uh, like a different country. I, I, I get him. I get him, though. I see him. So, but it seems like Rockstar Games just want to be sticking with America and they don't want to explore any other locations other yeah. than L.A., Miami, and, you know, California and all this stuff. So yeah, apparently, yeah, yeah. this game is going to be called as the Southern House L.A. Noir. And the game will have you questioning your sanity, says Rhino. Now, I've done some research on the Southern House and apparently it seems like it's a place that was built all the way back in 1926. And this game is taking place in 1940s. Now, that's the interesting part about this whole place plot twist because during this time in 1947 there was a lot of crime that took place in this particular place called as the Southern House. Now Southern House was basically a place that was built in 1926 for artists and photographers. John Southern is the guy who built it and he wanted a startling space with a large central court where he could stage plays and parties for Hollywood elites and apparently there were a lot of crime that actually took place in this location like torture, murders and dissected by his father in the basement and a lot of really gore stuff that happened in the year 1947 now this game is gonna take place in 1940s so this means that most probably this is the kind of storyline that's gonna be featured in the Southern house now the okay. Southern house is just a place that I'll just show on the screen right now and this place is basically like the Epstein Island where they throw <gasps> these huge parties and they do a lot Yo, of th time out bro time out Tranquilo, papi chulo. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. But honestly, bro, it does sound real uh, good to me. Not real. <laughs> I hope it's real. I want to see something like that, man. I have been saying after GTA 6, man, I want Alan War 2. No disrespect to my uh, Red Dead Redemption homies out there. But like, yeah, I, I want to see Alan War 2. And I really hope these leaks are good. Because if you have played Alan War 1, the, the, the first one, right? I, I believe it came out around like 2010s, uh, maybe 2011, something like that, right? Correct me if i'm wrong but it came around that time and the facial expressions the technology that they used for the facial expression it was light years ahead so knowing what they were capable to do knowing what they were capable to do back then i mean like uh, after gta 6 uh, if this game probably gonna come out like five years after gta 6 minimum right this game can be a, be a masterpiece if done well. We're talking Rockstar games after all, so... ...of crime in this location. So you're going to be playing as an investigator who's going to be investigating the crimes of Hollywood and all of the dark stuff that happens behind the scenes of Hollywood. Now, just three days ago, Rockstar Games filed a brand new patent for a new feature that they were going to be bringing out to the gaming world. And it's a patent that suggests that Rockstar Games could use a new machine learning motion capture yeah. technology to allow for realistic limb movements. Now this yeah, this is what I meant. Like the if you played the game, I, I know it doesn't look that uh, kind of like crazy good here, but especially for the time, this was light years ahead. And when you play the game, uh, those of you that play the game, you know what I mean, right? Like those of you that didn't, it's gonna be hard to explain what like how good of a game this was, man seems very much like what Rockstar Games would do if it was an L.A. Noir game because if you take a look at what they did with L.A. Noir, you would possibly know that every single limb from the voice actors was actually moving so that you could get a very realistic yeah. facial expressions and I don't think that any game even in the current gen has done anything like that and I think 
<laughs> games like Facts. Eleanor, where it kind of just takes you to look at the expression of the characters and judge if they're saying the truth or lies or if they're just deceiving you. A game like that, working with the current gen technologies, I think it really needs some very realistic limb movements. And I think that's exactly what Rockstar Games is doing. And then we get this information about- It was a detective game and you, you were interrogating, you were also on a crime scene investigating. Uh, investigating right and you would collect evidence and the the game also had sound cues so if the music would keep playing if you did not found all the evidence right and once you found it there was a very distinguished uh sound effect that would play letting you know that yeah okay you gather all the the, the evidence and i believe the game also had the option for enabling or disabling the help mode which will tell you if you have got all the evidence or not so yeah if you were if you wanted to go in blind and you didn't need any help from the game you you had that too so you were on a crime you were on a crime scene investigating collecting all the evidence and then you would interrogate all the the victims as well the uh, everyone and all the witnesses it, it's actually it was a very very good game solid game and i remember they also ended up dropping like dlcs and for all the dlcs you had like uh golden trophies if i'm not mistaken i had a very fun time uh playing this game and uh getting uh collecting all the trophies life was simple back then man life was simple man I wish we had a game like that. A new Eleanor game. And also in early Jan of 2024, Rockstar Games actually filed another patent for two brand new games that they're working on and it's completely new IP. One of the IPs that we already know is going to be this open world project medieval game which is going to take place in a massive medieval times. And this trademark, if you actually take a look at this, it apparently is related to a brand new game that Rockstar Games is working on. And this is what the word for the trademark says. Of course, this Follow could be some everything. sort of a code name that Rockstar Games is using. This is what it says, ball over everything. That's the mm. name of the game, apparently, at least the code name. And then the status is currently alive and then it's still pending because, you know, the European and US trademark system, they need to go through all of the files to see if this name is actually available to be trademarked by Take-Two Interactive. Now, if you dig deeper, you'll actually find out that they actually trademark. Uh, do you mean dig deeper or dick deeper? <laughs> like, I, I don't know what you're saying, man. I don't know what you're saying, man. You gotta be careful with the words here, homeboy. The Take-Two Interactive Corporation, Delaware, USA. Yeah, okay. I mean, Delaware, there's a reason why they're there for the tax purposes, right? Uh, rec rec recorded computer game and video game programs. Okay, so we know it's for uh, for video games, ball over everything. Damn, homie. Now, I really hope this rumor is true, bro. This as goods and service. And inside of goods and service, it's IC009, which is like the legal number for the trademark. And it seems like it's going to be a recorded computer game and video game program and software. Now, this is pretty Pretty clear that under class 009041 they've actually registered it and it's directly registered by take true interactive software and they've pretty much just made it clear that they are working on a brand new game and obviously it's not of a huge surprise that we've been getting so much information about the upcoming yeah. game that rockstar games has been working on which is set in medieval times and it's supposed to be an open world game uh, honestly after hearing the rumor for alenoir 2 like i don't necessarily care for the medieval game man what oh shit okay my bad you guys care you guys care okay i didn't know that my bad i i my bad. i take it i take that back boo -boo. i take that back but no seriously seriously lnr 2 or red dead redemption 3 or medieval game or something else which what which uh game you would pick technically if we get the medieval game i think this falls under new ip lnr sequel of course red dead sequel this would fall under a new ip i know some people also want some like a sequel for midnight club as well yeah we haven't had midnight club in how many years yeah don't even know bruh bruh because they have been doing gta red dead gta red dead and they have been taking so long it's insane uh i truly and we also you guys gotta understand this uh before gta 6 this uh the leak came out and this leak is coming from ign and all the big sources so i wouldn't even class that as uh something like a leak because they in indeed th that's what they claim they have in uh investigated and they have also spoke with some rockstar game devs and they were working on gta 4 remaster oh, shit. Oh, and shit. they have ultimately canned it which means that they have canceled it for now it's not canceled it, they they said that they are just going all in right on gta 6 developing gta 6 and putting that out as fast as possible and for now what we're hearing is that it's going to be coming out by the end of next year it can also get delayed to 2026 hopefully not but but here's the thing though so gta 4 remaster gotta happen i suppose they're gonna have different department already working maybe a small team are already working on lnr2 and they're likely gonna go all in once gta 
GTSX comes out, or perhaps uh, some some a smaller team is gonna also work on GTA 4, and another team's gonna work on uh, LNR 2, and perhaps like another game. Yeah, because like usually they they have like different uh, uh, different teams working on different projects all the all the time. But realistically, I would I would say GTA 6, let's just say next year or 2026, then we got like GTA 4 remaster, perhaps two years or three years after that, 2028, 2029, and then we get Eleanor 2, three years after that, so like 2032, 2033. <laughs> just trying to be realistic based on the information that we have here, guys. Doesn't mean that it's gonna happen, but knowing Rockstar's track record, Brad, like... And the next GTA game, probably in 2040 after that, what are we talking about here, bro? It was previously codenamed as Project Medieval, which is something that Rockstar Games has been working from a very, very long time to make a game that's similar to Kingdom Come Deliverance. But then we know Rockstar Games, they always make third-person games. And that's exactly what everyone would like to see in a medieval game, to be able to play as a third-person character, not limited to this first-person mechanics. And that's okay. exactly what Rockstar Games is doing right now. And the other game that Rockstar has also filed a patent on and some people suggest that it's the game called the agent and now that we have mm -hmm. this leak which states that it's a new LA Noir game that Rockstar Games is working on and it's well, yeah agent yo what if like yeah agent was supposed to come out but ultimately they canceled the project but what if they use uh, some of the work that they done for that agent game the new IP what if like they use that and uh, take it and put it in LA Noir too that's also possible because indeed they spend time on work and time working on that game right it's coming from a pretty credible source so this kind of just makes sense that maybe the agent game that rockstar was developing previously they kind of just rebranded the game and they could release yeah. it yeah, as yeah. a new eleanor title yeah, yeah, yeah. because the name agent itself sounds like a detective game so it kind of makes sense that they could do something like this or maybe it's not even a sequel to eleanor it's a completely different game maybe rockstar is completely working on the new agent game which kind of has similarities to eleanor so of course all of this is good news that's arriving and also we got this ridiculous rumor that just came out which says that Rockstar Games is going to be implementing uh, cryptocurrency in-game payments for Grand right. Theft Auto 6. And how is it going to be working? Apparently, we, we apparently had this rumor like two, three years ago from Tom Henderson, who also did say that there will be one female and one uh, male protagonist in this one. And then we, a year after that, I believe, GTK 6 gameplay got leaked and we saw the Lucia Burna and that. So yeah, it probably, it probably is true, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know. But if these things do that, bro, <laughs> that would be crazy, man. Like this, I think this game i have i'm getting that why bro that this game is gonna be really really money hungry or i should say like rockstar is gonna be really money hungry with this one they're gonna be pushing microtransactions left and right i'm kind of worried about that actually uh with gta plus and microtransactions the shark cards right yeah uh, uh in terms of the game quality i'm not too worried about it i think the game is gonna be good but I i'm just worried about like the game is probably gonna be like uh microtransactions hell bro it seems like GTA 6 might feature cryptocurrency as an in-game payments according to leaks. However, Rockstar Games hasn't confirmed this. And they then just go on to say that with the highly anticipated GTA 6 set in fall of 2026, rumors about the game features are surfacing online. Now, one of the particular interesting leaks suggests that cryptocurrencies are going to be a potential in-game payment. Now, honestly, if this okay. turns out to be true, I think this game could honestly turn into a gambling place or maybe like a digital stock market or a digital yeah. business. Where you could run your own trading business inside of GTA 6 and earn money in real life by just in yeah yo if they do that that would be crazy bro like but i think they this is gonna fall under gambling absolutely and i think uh officially in some states i believe you cannot do that there's a certain age requirement but i guess like the game is gonna be for mature 17 plus oh yeah absolutely it's gonna be but still i don't know about it though I think uh, the game can get banned in certain states or or if not US then in, in certain countries and do they want that probably not so maybe they're not gonna go in that direction but if they do that's gonna be crazy investing cryptocurrency selling items in the game earning items in the game and basically just making money converting that into cryptocurrencies and then using that money in real life now of course this could unlock a whole different realm of how gambling works and how the video game genres are gonna be completely changing into how it's going to be affecting real life and this could have a huge impact in terms of how the world is going to run in the future as well and looking at rockstar games i think anything is possible at this point because they have invested two billion dollars in terms of developing this 
scheme. So yeah. obviously there's gonna be something major about the scheme. That's oh uh, yeah, bro. Like we're hearing that um a billion to two billion dollars uh, in total that's gonna be spent on this game. So I mean, listen, they uh, of course they don't want to make that two billion back. They want to make twenty billion. They want to make hundred billion from this game, bro. Like the expectations gonna be crazy. So they gotta make the money, bro. They're gonna be they're gonna be really cutthroat with this game. So this is why I'm worried that this game might actually be like microtransactions hell, guys. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I really hope it's not a microtransaction hell. Now, surely some people are also worried that this game might also be woke. I do believe it's going to be a little bit woke, though. Uh, but but, but uh, uh, how bad is it going to get? Uh, is it just going to be woke to the point where it's going to be a parody of real life? Like how GTK has always been and it's going to have the woke stuff in that aspect. If that's how they're going to add it, then yeah, it's I mean... Not gonna be a big deal, Not people are not gonna be worried, but if they are pushing agendas like how some people are expecting it to, then of course a lot of people are gonna have a problem with it and then it's gonna have another controversy. But even if it has controversy, we're talking GTA, the game is gonna sell like like crazy bro like let, let's be real let's be real right like now i'm not trying to sugarcoat it though just trying to be real with you guys there so even if it is or not the game is gonna sell like crazy but uh i'm just genuinely worried about the game being microtransactions hell because knowing gta online uh yeah they tasted blood with that it's uh, one of those things once a shark tastes bloods bro it just goes crazy bro it just loses its mind and rockstar did lo they did lose their mind because think about it this way right we had gta GTA 4, right? GTA 4, it was, uh, uh, you know, GTA Online. It had GTA Online with it, but it was nowhere near crazy. In fact, we didn't have, like, microtransactions in that, if I'm not mistaken. It was a simple online, right? Then they had DLCs. Like, the, the $15, I remember, was it $20 or $15? I don't remember the price exactly, but let's just say $15, $20 pack, The Ballad of Gay Tony, The Lost and Damned, right? We had the DLCs, two DLC packs, and those were story modes. And guess what? We uh, ended up getting a leak. Uh, it's not necessarily a leak. It came as uh, leak information, but it came from the, the data mine information, right? And it, it was proven legit. Basically, for, it came from the source code of GTA 5 because the source code got leaked out, but it came from the source code of Rockstar GTK5 and it did say at one point they were looking to have Franklin DLC and Michael DLC for single player and guess what we ended up getting it in GTK uh, online but it was supposed to be for GTK5 like a, a real single player and it was supposed to be big and in, in total they cancelled approximately 8 story DLCs for GTA 5 and they converted that uh, for online essentially and it came online so yeah money talks bull squash walks so they tasted blood and this time they're gonna design GTA 6 online uh, in terms of sucking the most amount of money as possible that's the only thing I'm worried about but I guess the single player aspect of this game is gonna be good I think that part I'm not too worried about it unless they also add the cryptocurrency uh, situation with it too oh, oh, yeah right like if they the cryptocurrency for single player and uh and if they take m your real life money and they convert that into the gambling mechanic for a single player alone oh that's gonna start ww5 in gaming though you know but we're talking gta so keep in mind the game is still gonna sell well so i don't think you can cancel a game like gta honestly i think it would uh, take a miracle for, uh, for this game to get canceled when i say cancel i'm uh, obviously i'm saying like the the internet cancel culture cancel that's what i'm saying the game is not getting canceled as in not coming out right it's gonna get canceled in terms of the online cancel culture straight games just want to be sticking with oh my bad here we go it's gonna change the entire entertainment media so maybe this could turn out to be that rockstar games is trying to make gta as a digital real world that you can live in you can make money in you could run your business online even though nothing in the game is real but still it kind of just serves the purpose of an nft where you're gonna pay for some items inside the game and you're also gonna sell it and make money so i think it's gonna be uh, nfts kind of died low-key right like i don't hear much about nfts no more incredible i don't know how rockstar games is planning this stuff it's just a rumor as of now and i will of course keep you guys updated if we get any further information yeah it's just like the the bitcoin stuff and all that uh right now but guys let me know your thoughts in the comments man check out this video on the screen we recently ended up getting some real good news about gta 6 that we talked about trailer 2 the Lucia burna the new gameplay leaks as well check out this video on the screen if you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.